yourself yeah of course ma'am why not so thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, as you know my name is sanjad and i'm talking to you uh, delhi and basically i'm belong to vihar i'm here to study purpose and if i talk my education so i have done my schooling now i am pursuing my bachelor in history and this is my first year and uh, if i talk about my hobbies interest so i like play hockey and i also do like meditation and yoga and also i do like uh, traveling yeah this is about me and my experience thank you so much wow that's great that's great Yes, so uh, yeah my name is aarti chobe and i am connecting you from a very beautiful town called mini kashmir of malwa and it's oh. very beautiful place you know uh, though it's a small yes, yes. town but it's, it's very beautiful surrounded by hills and mountains and we are having seven lakes here and they are very beautiful just uh, they give us the very soothing effect in the morning time as well as in the me- evening time also and uh, if i talk about my profession i am a government teacher and i am teaching since 2001 but prior to this i was teaching in uh, one of the convent school uh, and i am posted as a math teacher but i oh. love to teach english also and right oh. now i am <laughs> just uh, uh, improving my spoken skill so i have started these types of conversations with different different personalities and i love to meet different people with different interests so that we can make our social group we can enlarge our yes. social group this way yes as you are in delhi and i am in mp and yes, uh, <laughs> so we can't meet uh, but we can meet virtually so yes, this is yes, a good platform we are getting so yes, this is all ma'am. about me yeah of course great <laughs> i feel good uh, here about your city there are seven lakes so uh, i'm getting a, a, like a interest in i try to <laughs> view the city future yes ma'am uh, uh-huh. but uh-huh. i love to travel yeah actually i love to travel outside you know i want i love to see different places new culture so i love yeah you say that and uh, okay so do uh, uh, you are math teacher <clears throat> i am math uh, i am teaching math as well as english also to the upper primary classes oh. but i i am oh. masters in english i am also master trainer of british council i have taken the three year training uh, in at the state level from british council and uh, our state they uh, have incorporated and uh, we have got the chance to uh, take the training from mentors of british council and i have done those trainings for 3 years and uh, i am also a master trainer of english at the block level at, as well as at the district level so i have trained thousands of teachers but when it comes to spoken skill so i am not getting uh, a good platform or you can say the right people here to whom i can practice my english so it it was lacking behind and uh, from last april when uh, my daughters they are also in noida so i often oh. i visit noida as well as we went we go to delhi also for this chandni chowk and all that for the uh, yes this, uh, marketing purpose yes. and for purchasing clothes yes so, that that place mm-hmm. yes 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 sir, that place that place is very famous in delhi to visit uh, to purchase uh, like a ma- for marketing purpose it's very famous and for also food you can uh, you can see many kind of so okay so how was your experience in uh, chamni chowk ha <laughs> chamni chowk yeah it was fine uh, we went to that paratha gali also and we oh. tasted the delicious parathas and though it was a small shop uh, yeah but but the parathas they were delicious then we went to this um, uh, cannot place also cannot place yes cannot place and then uh, one more market is there i'm just getting the name just uh, brahmaputra market bp bp that is i think in noida <clears throat> yeah it, it will no nah, i don't know about but i know about only around the delhi in delhi yes. that belong uh, that is part of uh, delhi ncr <laughs> delhi ncr yeah so my daughter yes, they are living there both the daughters are there my elder daughter she is uh, uh, assistant director in law department in kit university she has persuaded her llm from calcutta national oh. university calcutta yeah and right now she is uh, uh, earlier she was associate professor in iim ahmedabad and now she is uh, since from last two years she is uh, assistant director in the kit department and kit university 
my younger daughter she has persuaded her mba from uh, in travel tourism from christ university bangalore so she is running her own business there and both are living together and we often visit delhi and my son uh, he has also persuaded her ba llb from uh, nirma university ahmedabad and right now he is an instructor in um, career launcher one of the very popular coaching mm. career launcher mm. yeah he is instructor and teaching legal and english there oh yeah that's great uh, you know that is power of education and our topic also education you know education is very important because yes. uh, you know uh, you are educate people you are educate then you you easily uh, Uh, you know, get a good environment to your son, like uh, your kids and son, so they will they they also go to, you know they already got a good a good field to uh, become a good person. So maybe education is a most powerful uh, things to become. Uh, it it helps to be uh, it helps to become a good person in our life in our life. So I also love education. Actually, ma'am, uh, you know when I was in school time, so that time I haven't uh, any kind of environment to. study and i haven't any kind of uh, good uh, friend and uh, good i also uh, like uh, in my family member actually my, my family member they are not educated but they are very hard working person so after completed 12th class i realized education is very important to become a good person then i started learning english then i focus in my other parts like uh, is uh, writing skills uh, reading skills speaking skills and uh, how can increase thought level so it is very important very important yes, and we can make our future bright as you are just growing right now and uh, definitely if you will uh, get good education it will sharpen your mind it will sharpen your skills and thought process will also get developed when we are talking and we are talking on different topics so yeah, yeah you you have rightly you have chosen the good path because nowadays i see the youth they are just wasting their time and just uh, means they are i don't like them because neither they are studying nor they are doing some good job just roaming and wandering here and there without yes. any so i feel i hear i am just glad to listen from you that you are much focused you must yes sir Yeah, actually, ma'am. Uh, whenever we are uh, getting a room pass, so we should try to make a plan to our good career. We have to, we have to thought about uh, future. Little, not uh, people said always, don't uh, think more about our future and past. Live with a present. Yeah, it is good, but we need to uh, thought about little bit our future because it will, uh, what will be happen with us in future. So same in my case, I thought little bit then I. So then i realized study is important i should do Because study very good saying that if you fails to plan then you plans to fail so planning yes. is necessary always i have written this proverb in my school uh, on the wall yes. and my students they know it very well the meaning of this proverb that if you fails to plan then you plans to fail so always yes, have planning for your future uh, yeah we know of course that the future is not decided we don't know about the yes. next week what will happen next moment we don't know what will happen to us but still yes. planning is necessary otherwise the, mm, we will just lost and we don't have the path where we have to travel and if we know our destination then our path is clear we have to travel yes, on that particular path you know yes, but yes. if we have no uh, we have not fixed any goal for our life then where will we go we will just went uh, here and there aimlessly yes yes ma'am of course actually every i can say every student getting uh, getting day by day confusion in get to good career so but in same in my same same in my case actually i always getting confused what i uh, i should do this uh, maybe i should do, because everybody says a different different uh, thing but uh, you know but i try to uh, spend some time with myself and then what what is result came Came back, mm-hmm. then I try to work on that, and I also That's choose my field that that is that will traveling. Uh, I want to make my future in traveling. So maybe I fix to my uh, plan. I uh, switch my plan. But uh, my, but in my friend circle, I can say most of the student, my friend, they never s- try to set goal. No, want a target point. They never set target point. So they will uh, sometimes they work there, sometimes they work here like this. So we should make a uh, we should put any point. Yes, sir. Yeah. at one time 
uh, when 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 uh, in our life there a point comes that when we have to travel inside just sit for a while and listen the sound which is coming from inside because definitely god has sent you with a purpose and he wants to fulfill some good job out of you so you must listen that voice and you have done the same thing that you just now you said that you said quietly and then you thought and then you realize you do yes. the analysis that where i have to go what i have to do and then you have yes. started doing it. so uh, we yes. everyone should do like this uh, i am not telling about the meditation but i now i am 53 year old and i i want to live in peace so yeah i meditate in the morning for 5 to 10 minutes daily and it's good to just yes, sir, to refresh our brain yes yes and yeah, question i have yeah actually i am a sports person i i also i was a i used to play hockey at my school time so i can say it is very good to do meditation yoga and exercise it help to it help to become a calm person and uh, you can gain peace by the doing meditation and yoga and then you can uh, you know you can also maintain your body because it's uh, nowadays we are losing our health mm. mentally health yes my mentally health thoughting uh, thought level we can lose everything but when we do yoga and uh, uh, exercise so we can uh, uh, stop that yes, yes it just rejuvenate our body you know yes, we sir. feel very fresh and fresh, calm yes, and, yeah calm. and you know uh, in the day time whenever we are getting angry or whenever we are if we are short tempered and we lose our temper by every minute so it helps us in that case also earlier i used to um, shout at my students and i just get very angry that you have not done this homework and you are very bad and doing this and doing that but i just sat down and i realized what why i am shouting to them i can say yeah. these these words i can praise them for what they have done i i should not scold them for what they have not done and in this way i have just uh, uh, rectified my mistake and now i rarely i shout at them yeah it's necessary for a teacher to be in uh, the student should be in discipline so we have to yell sometimes but not every time uh, it has reduced to 75% now i am not uh, yelling at them uh, not i am not shouting at them i am just treating with them very with love and care and they are coming more uh, near me earlier they were just away from me that and they are scared of me also but now they i think yeah they talk with me they are feeling uh, they, they don't feel as if i i'll just scold them earlier they don't yes. come yeah but now they love me i can say yeah i can say yes i can say you are uh, you know such a good teacher for your student they are getting interest to teaching in teaching i actually uh, what happened i can also see i can also so when we somebody is cool so we are not getting interest we are saying oh, it is bored this name is bored that name is bored i don't like to study with you know but when you uh, show your smile when you show your uh, like a yes. patience level you know so people you know student will get interest actually in my time i also love to do study with uh, some teacher not all, uh, all teacher like some teacher has a good smile they always uh, try to show something uh, you know better or unique so i we are getting we was getting interest but you know <laughs> some some student some uh, some teacher has a you know like a uh, they angry you know immediately like some uh, like uh, we are doing uh, something you know, we was doing you know so uh, sir was getting uh, angry hey why are you doing this like you can't understand my uh, <laughs> so we we thought why he came to uh, teach us i don't we don't like like don't so like. yeah for become yeah, a good you know, good teacher we knew, we need to show smile we have to we have to show, uh, first listen uh, student to they what they what they want to say uh, share with us so yeah because i like i like discipline in the classroom i like discipline in the yes. school because i too studied in a convent school uh, till 12th class so uh, we were very much disciplined for we have a lot of respect for our teachers so in the same way i want to create that atmosphere in that in my school but as it is a, um, a village school second thing it's a government school and third thing that the students they are not getting any good manners from their home so only in the yes, school yes. we are to teach them what are good manners and how you have to show the respect otherwise earlier you know i think before um, 20 years when first i went to that school uh, the the students they were talking like तू क्या कर रहा है टीचर से दे वर थिंग लाइक दैट 
एंड दे थिंक दैट दिस इज अ प्रॉपर वे टू टॉक मास्टर तू ये ये कर दे लाइक दैट मास्टर ये बता दे लाइक दैट दे वर टॉकिंग so then yes, I, yes. i when i listen i got very angry and very upset that um, how can i uh, survive in this school i don't want yes. to be in this school they are so ill mannered then uh, gradually i just took their meetings and then i told them that and i started talking with them like aap kya kar rahe ho what are you doing yes. and then i yes. and then i told them that this is the way how we pay the respect to our teacher so don't again don't talk like this using two this is a very low word for the teacher and for your parents also they are talking to their parents now also they are talking to their parents in the same way uh, which they yes. used to talk earlier because that is the atmosphere in their home but yes yes i i have done a lot to uh, re- i have just melded them i have molded them and now they are good yes so um, actually uh, actually ma'am uh, it is not uh, d- their fault because they have no environment to speak how to speak yes. because yes. environment is uh, uh, like uh, it's very important to get good environment if you have a good environment uh, so you uh, you will obviously become a good person for example like you you are spending your time with a businessman who is uh, always talking who is always talking about business i will do business like this i will make like this money yes. so you will obviously learn like this and you will obviously become a business man in future like they are maybe they are spend, they are they are used to spend time with her like a like a who is they, they have like a who has no uh, like a idea to how to speak with other how to give respect so they will learn unnecessary things that's why they are but uh, but when they meet m- met with you then you suggest uh, uh, something different unique so they will get uh, they got interest in your Uh, like uh, in your teaching uh, style and they they learnt so it is yeah it is very good to show our ability what we have so yeah it is very good i also got uh, inspired with you to how to teach others 